am Kylie from Freedom Vans, and today I'm going to show you our latest project. This is a Mercedes Sprinter 170 four-wheel drive van that we just wrapped up. This van is fully loaded, so we'll go through a lot of the options that we offer at Freedom Vans today. We do have some availabilities this fall, so if you're in the market for a van conversion, give us a call. Okay, so jumping into this tour, why don't we start with the exterior today? This van has a ton of exterior options. So starting on the roof, we have our custom roof rack with full lights. So we have the high beam, side lights, reverse lights, and those are all switched at the dash. So you can turn them on when you're parked or when you're driving. The reverse lights do turn on with the factory reverse lights, which is really nice when you're trying to see where you're backing up to at night. On the front of the van, we have the California tuned off-road front bumper. For suspension, we went with the Van Compass 4.3 kit. So this has front and rear shocks with the Falcon adjustable shocks and a mini leaf spring pack. For wheels and tires, we went with some black Rhino wheels. These are 16 by eight inches. And then we have tires. We went with the Falcon Wild Peaks. These are rated at over 13,000 on the tires and almost 13,000 for the wheels. On the roof rack, we have the Fiamma F80S awning. And then in the back, we've got an Alvans tire ladder carrier, as well as the Sherpa rack with the one-up bike trays. Um, the only thing we're really missing is a rear bumper and this thing would be fully kitted out. As we enter the van, we do have these running boards by Freedom Van. So these are really cool because they have a nice grippy tread plate and then this grippy around the edge so um, it's super secure getting in you also don't lose very much clearance because it's only an inch and a half under the van I'm Nate Murphy author of the van conversion guide and I just want to let you know that I'm hosting a free online training which will teach you how to make van life zero cost or profitable in this free seminar I will show you exactly how to choose a van build it out in a profitable way and avoid the mistakes that most people make. I will show you how I made van life completely free and a bunch of other stuff that people don't really talk about. If you want to join, click the link here or in the description and register for free. I'll see you there. On the outside of the kitchen galley here, we do have our outdoor table. Um, I guess I forgot to mention a little bit about these clients coming in. So they ultimately got this van to spend half the year in Indiana half the year on the West Coast. So they're gonna um, purchase this van to travel in between. And this is gonna be an awesome spot to tailgate with the outdoor table. It does hold quite a bit of weight. You can throw your toddler on here, all your snacks and drinks. Um, and we do mount this to the step of the van. Um, that way it's very sturdy and we have a lot of space to um, for the table. In the front of the van, we have some upgraded captain's chairs. These are the Shieldman seats, and they're really comfortable. They have the dual armrests, and they're heated. So this is a pretty common layout for us, but with a very custom twist. If you're interested in a long wheelbase van, we do have a similar layout on our website, the same one where you can do the website builder, um, although it includes a bed that is lengthwise, so a larger garage. Um, this van definitely added its own custom twist to the layout though. So we have the dining area in the front and in between the dining, the dinette seats, we have built in food and water dish for their dog, um, which will be very functional for them. Um, then with the dinette, we have these dual ottomans so they can both sit here and put up their feet and be super comfy. Um, this dinette also turns into a bed, lounge space, um, couch. So lots of utility in this. They were definitely thinking about utility when they built this van. We have hooks everywhere. So we have these hooks to hang clothes. In the ceiling, we have flush mount hooks on the side of the shower. This will be great for hanging their towels. And then we have some on the front cabinet. 
On this front partition wall, we do have our privacy curtain, which has a snap track, which makes it super easy to snap on and off the privacy curtain. And once it's snapped onto this track, you can move it from side to side. Above the dining area, we have their sound bar. We have this awesome under cabinet strip lighting. In the overhead cabinet, we have these stainless steel poles and these really awesome lifts. Built into this overhead, we also have a microwave. And then on the other side, we have lots more storage that extends back to the bed. They are gonna be sleeping side to side, so this overhead will most likely be over their feet in the bed area. In this kitchen area, we do have a nice big countertop extension. On the side of the countertop extension, accessible from outside, we do have a bottle opener as well. And then the countertop houses their single burner induction cooktop, a big 15 by 20 stainless steel sink with faucet. We do have a countertop outlet that flips up here. And then we went with the stainless steel backsplash. We did customize this backsplash by sandblasting in the Notre Dame logo. This kitchen is fully equipped with a 4.3 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. And then we also have wine storage for up to 24 bottles. We do also have a, this is a very unique kitchen galley design with these pull out drawers inside of the, this cabinet. And they did add a lot of personal touches. We have their paper towel holder here, and then we are also adding a knife magnet to this area. By the bed, we have their temp sensor. So this is so that when they are away from their vehicle, they can monitor the temperature on their of in the interior of the van on their phones and make sure it's all comfortable here for their animals. They do have a split type AC unit. So this is the cruising comfort unit. Essentially half the unit, the condenser is mounted underneath the van and then the other half of the unit is mounted on the interior of the van, which I'll show you in the garage. This is a very heavy duty unit. It pumps a ton of air into here and keeps it really nice and cool. In this bed area, we do have a DC outlet, an AC outlet, and then we have dimmable switches for their lights and under cabinet strip lights. On the other side of the van, we have their wet room. So it's a smaller wet room to accommodate. We added a closet as well. The inside, there's a nature's head composting toilet, which is removable if they want more space to shower with. There's also a removable closet rod, so they can use this as a closet when not using it as a shower. Inside the closet, um, we have this little mirror, perfect for getting ready. Just so you can see Hannah today. Um, we do have their AC distribution panel, so important electrical stuff. Um, a on off link for their Starlink panel, so they do have a satellite on their roof for Wi-Fi. And then just tons of storage and a pull-out step that includes storage to get into bed. In the back of the van, there is a queen-sized bed. They do have these pull-down hooks for a laptop swing, which we did not include with us today. But that's pretty cool. That way they can watch movies from bed. Um, they do have hammock attachment mounts as well if they want to have a hammock in here. In the back of the bed area, they have the reading lights. Um, and then on the rear doors, you will see the exterior lights, but we'll talk about those when we get to the back of the van. All right, let's go. Okay, a ton going on back here. On the driver's side of the van, we have our power system and AC, as well as a space for the air compressor. We do have a 600 amp hour lithium battery bank with a 3000 watt inverter. And on the roof, we fit two 60 cell panels that total 740 watts of solar. Um, so they will have lots of solar for all of their electrical needs. On the passenger side of the van is their water system. So we have a 36 gallon water tank with their six gallon hot water heater over here. We have an outdoor shower and their water fill, which is great location for that. And then someone slipped in an extra little bottle opener back here. So they have some options. Um, in one of the trays is built in a DC cooler. So that'll be a great spot for their tailgating. Um, and if the 
outside table wasn't the right place to entertain. They do have this giant deck. It does have a flip down leg and it stops in three spots. So they have some options for how much table space they'd like out here. This, since they are going to be traveling across country quite a bit and we'll need to load this up with all of their stuff. This headboard is removable as well as all of the center panels of this bed platform. So they can take this bed out um, and put some taller items in here. Lastly, we do have our exterior lights up on the door. So these um, have their own individual switches. And then on the door, we have some more table space here. Um, so they are definitely gonna have a lot of areas to put things while they're out here hanging out, enjoying life outside of the van. Well, that is a wrap on this van tour. Thank you so much for following along. Um, it's always such a pleasure to put out these videos and build this community. We really love connecting with you. We do have our long wheelbase and short wheelbase builders up on our website if you would like to take a look at those layouts with um, there's an option for choosing your own materials and components in your van conversion um, we do have some availabilities this fall so we'd love to build your van okay we'll see you next time thank you bye if you didn't notice, I am offering a free online training which will help teach you how to make van life free or profitable. In this video, I will show you exactly how to buy a van, how to fit it out in a profitable way, and teach you how to avoid the mistakes that most people make, and all the other stuff that almost nobody else talks about. If you are thinking about converting a van or living van life, it'll be one of the most valuable things you will ever watch. Just click the link, register for free, and I'll see you there. Another great place to start is to get the van conversion guide. It's packed with useful information and includes 20 video lessons to help you convert a van. Check our website, all the information is there.